So here's my hillbilly attempt at a waste oil burner. Last thing my wife said to me when I started to fire it up and she left was, don't burn the place down. So lots of faith there. So all I did is take a 50 gallon drum, cut a hole in it for a door, so I can put my uh, pot in there to collect the oil as a burn chamber. And I, I put some, uh, a pipe through the back. Um, I feed the oil in through a 3 8 copper pipe and it just comes out of a, a bucket. Done is I threw a screen on it. I put some nasty stuff in that got caught on the screen. But see the screen on it tries to get all the large particles out. And then I left the drain about two to three inches off the bottom of the bucket so any crap that I get stuck in the bottom doesn't go through the burner. What I use for my air source is just a blower off a uh, vented hot water heater. I just rigged up a quick little switch so I could adjust it. Just normal indoor dimmer switch. But it seems to do okay now. Run the pipe down and it feeds in with the oil. So it keeps the oil line cool. That's cool to the touch right now and it's right, right next to the drum. Uh, the drum won't be able to put your hand on it. It's smoking hot. So this is just kind of the first kick at the cat here to get it working. And uh, once I kind of get this fine tuned on how to set my air, right now there's, uh, you can see there's very little smoke blowing out of that, if any at all. It's just getting, the, getting it set just right. And then if you look in, I'll open this up. You can see the burn chamber going in there, the pod, good little, Good little burn going there. So just a way to burn off uh, some waste oil and uh, once I get it fine-tuned and something I'm not going to burn the place down with I'll uh, see if I can't move something inside and get it working as a, uh, a heat source. I'll keep you guys posted let you know any updates.